So I don't think I actually mentioned this last time, but since my uh, request for uh, more subscribers, I have actually gained two. So I'm up to 16 subscribers. Unfortunately, since that time, I've also lost two subscribers because I went through to look at my uh, my list of subscribers and I noticed that two of them uh, no longer had uh, pictures. And so I clicked on the username and I discovered that it said this account is closed. So I gained two subscribers, but I also lost two. So even though it says I have 16, technically I still only have 14. Maybe the Blog Driver channel is cursed to only ever have 14 subscribers. That would mean that if I get another subscriber, that one of my older subscribers will just mysteriously disappear. Oh my god, I'm one of my subscribers! Don't subscribe! him with fifth grade uh, band tryouts. Now a lot of my subscribers might have gone through this at some point, so, but I'll explain uh, what this is. At our school, we start band kids in fifth grade. Some of them start later and some of them start earlier, but for us it's fifth grade. And so during one week in school, they'll bring them in by class and they'll, we'll try them out on the different instruments. Now some students are better suited for other instruments than others. For instance, I was well suited to play the trumpet, but I would not have been a good flute player, simply because of the way my mouth works. I'm able to do the brass embouchure, I'm not quite as easily able to do the flute embouchure as I learned when I had to learn how to play the flute in college. And so, I being a trumpet player, I take them over and I try them out on the trumpet. And the first thing you have to do to try them out on the trumpet is make sure that they, they can make buzz. We have to make sure that they can do that. If they can't do that, then they won't be very well suited for, for brass instruments. I also have to make sure that they can get different uh, sounding pitches out of the mouthpiece. If they get a really good low sound, but they don't have quite as good a high sound, then I'll probably send them over to try trombone because they might have a better chance of playing that one. It's very, it's very democratic. We kind of, we, we really want them to decide what instrument they play uh, because if they get stuck if they feel like they're getting forced into an instrument that they don't want to play, then they're going to quit band fairly quickly. But we do try to steer them toward the instruments that they can actually get a sound out of. Because the thing is, if the student either is with an instrument that he doesn't like, or is playing an instrument that he really can't play, they're not going to be very happy in band. And we want kids to be happy in band. I will see you possibly tomorrow.